Welcome everyone to the session integrating Twilio's API with APM and leveraging the Levenstein distance algorithm for transcript validation by Bipin Singh. We are glad that Bipin can join us today. Over to you, Bipin. Just a brief intro. I am Bipin Sengar. I currently work as a senior QA in a company called Dialpad. And here, so let's start with one anecdote. Like one of the problem we are facing with our current product was, you know, how we are going to validate, uh, you know, quality, uh, you know, quality of our the transcription engine, whether it is working the way it is expected for our, especially for the mobile client. And as uh, after, you know, introduction of like a lot of people working on in this AI and whether your transcription is there in the right place. So it's always a good idea that for every CI, CD build, you just check that you have not broken those part. So given that that was a challenge for us and given that we also work in a wide domain. So we use, a, you know, try to have a third party app and try to send the message uh, like calls from there and receive at our end and try to you know, validate how our transcription is doing with our standard expected test. So that was the actual idea of, you know, uh, working on this project and doing the work. Before starting that, uh, like this whole project has been written in the robot framework. And uh, as of as of you like, may be aware, this particular framework have a three key advantages over other, uh, you know, uh, other frameworks is mostly like uh, with respect to the, its keyword driven approach. Given that it's a given, uh, keyword driven approach, uh, it is very user friendly. And in this, uh, we have a library called APM library, which takes care of automating the uh, most of our Android and iOS uh, elements. So the, here the, you know, uh, APM has already given a lot of, uh, you know, action that you can perform. So what robot framework APM library gives you is like, uh, you know, kind of a, a key to very specific things, which are most of the times are useful and package in a library format so that you don't have to, you know, reinvent the wheel and write most of the stuff. So it is quite easier than that way. And also there is like one of the, uh, uh, advantages of using robot framework that there is a vibrant uh, community driven because it, it, it they work in the slack so let me quickly show you that which where you have any silly doubts or even if you want to reach out the people who are already working in the robot framework so that is definitely uh, a good way to rely on for a community for any support you need so let's cut to the, you know, the most important part of this is uh, integrate, integrating the Twilio API with the APM. So as the already I explained in this first, like we have to integrate uh, making a call from a Twilio API to our dial pad wipe number. And then once call is being established, uh, whatever the text has been configured, uh, to actually Twilio will do text to speech, whatever the text I have written. And then whatever uh, Twilio will play that sound as MP3 to in that call. And once the call has, uh, uh, once the call has been end, we will validate that uh, transcription of this has been properly work or not. And also uh, like Dialpad does uh, try to summarize the call between the party so we can we are going to validate those uh, summary. So here you can see that uh, this is the page for of our Twilio API. So this is their uh, uh, page. Uh, this is, uh, if you want to try out, they take around, I think $10 of credit they give for free to try that out and then it is chargeable. And given this our business use case, so we uh, like invested in this tool and started validating our calls. So let me just show you the code like that. So my uh, base, uh, the base code of this test case is like transcription test. And this is the function, which is, uh, you know, I have written in Python and uh, the basic idea of this, it takes three argument, uh, 
the caller number, callee number, and the uh, TWML file which we want to play. So here the demo text is like, as I was explaining, we had to tell to the Twilio that which, uh, uh, you know, voice has to be played out. So that has to be configurable. So let's just quickly look at uh, that file. So inside external keywords, I put a function called Twilio function. And then there is a Twilio call. So caller, callee, and call and pause. So it takes uh, uh, this create Twilio. Uh, this will take actually, uh, you know, client uh, is the uh, class given by the robot framework. Uh, sorry, for uh, form Twilio. Twilio.rest, we are importing the client. And this client takes this three parameter, like to whom you want to call and from which number you want to call. And caller is basically your uh, Twilio number, and callee is our uh, dial pad number. Once your once you send a request, Twilio API is going to return the SIDs, which is uh, you can think like it's a unique identifier for that particular session for that particular call. So you can uh, if something happens wrong, if something you want to debug you can uh, take that SID as an input for debugging purpose to see that why, what was the reason why that particular call did not went through or to know that. So let's again go to our particular script. So with this, you know, one line of code, and uh, basically if you go to like five to six lines of code, we are successfully able to uh, integrate our, uh, uh, successfully able to integrate our, Twilio to our existing robot framework shoot. And then for the APM anyway, if you use the APM library, so that has been already been integrated with the system. So let's just go through the uh, slides again. So this integration has a basically three uh, parts. Uh, like have your uh, Twilio setup done, uh, create whatever the function is made to make a Twilio call with that XML file and have your APM server keep an up and running and voila. So these are the actual step. So the next one is like, let's have a quick demo that how it's actual look here. So So this is the mobile which we are going to test. This mobile has been uh, directly been connected. And let's in pause this. Yes. So here you can see that uh, I think two hours back I already done this test. So to invoke any uh, robot framework test, so I have written one a small uh, cell function which basically actually call out this uh, command line file to run robot framework, uh, which is basically say that we are going to run all the test cases inside, uh, all the test cases inside this Android features with a tag demo. Whichever the test cases have a demo, it will be run. So just let me quickly show that. So here in this test case, I am using a tag called demo. So transcription test can be executed with the tag demo. So let's quickly run this. Runner.sh demo Android features. And before that, let me just quickly check my device is connected or not. Device is connected. So, so this I am launching, uh, this is like uh, pretty much self-explanatory that I added the logging for the demo. So we basically actually open a notification center to receive a call. Somehow my device is not receiving call. Today has been a not so good day. Are there are things not in our control, that's fine. Yeah. Let's assume Somehow from when... where we, we were. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, so make it, so I'm making it a little bit shorter. So whatever the part 
calling has been received part so we can, I, I am going to like comment that code and we are let's focus on the uh, uh, you know how we are actually uh, validating the uh, transcription validation part okay so before that we have to uh, so let this wi-fi get connected to my this one. yes no. yeah perfect so as i was explaining this uh, let's open the, our pycharm code editor and i'm commenting out the code of uh, so yeah so we will again retry to running this test case and i commented about the making call and receiving call part and we are going to uh, verify the uh, like transcription validation uh, how it is working so let's quickly run this so again we are relaunching this device So we, we are search for that particular contact and we tap on the view all re recap. So we have, we had the, our report to be generated. So let's quickly see that how the report looks like. And there we can have the data of how actually our test does. So this is the report actually generated by robot framework native libraries. So by default, you get this reporting format out of the box. So this is the part where we are using compare string. Uh, uh, we are using compare string keyword and which is like I have written and inside this, we actually got uh, 100 uh, like my actual and expected test were 100 and uh, just to show you like this is the text we got from uh, you know APM library from the device and we validate against our uh, uh, actual text which is configured here inside dialpad.robot Video function we already covered. So if you go with that validate transcription part, we are using this compare strings method. So this compare string method is actually uh, using that Levinson distance algorithm where we are actually using the fuzzy woozy library which has this uh, a class called fuzz inside that class called fuzz we are using the method called uh, token set ratio so to know more about this uh, we have a pypy page of this uh, you know uh, fuzzy fuzzy library so this is basically uh, you know <clears throat> uh, library can be used to uh, so one of the biggest challenges comparing strings with respect to uh, transcription is that we can get related uh, uh, understanding like uh, may, there will be possibility of uh, you know some words get repeated or some words got misspelled or some words like some filler words which are not there at all so given that those words still are not there then it became challenging you know directly uh, you know directly uh, match them so to solve that problem here we you know try to get the you know semantic distance between those uh, two strings and try to validate that so let me quickly uh, give you the example of this is 
token set ratio that is what we are use, uh, using so in this you can see that uh, fuzzy was a beer and fuzzy fuzzy was a beer so for that we get 84 and fuzzy was a beer and fuzzy fuzzy was a beer for that we get uh, uh, like uh, uh, more score because it is almost make the same like in under the set ratio so that was the intention of using this particular uh, library and you can try out that uh, you know read more about that how it has been implement, uh, internally implemented so currently this particular keyword is being used in our org and that is how we are doing it and yeah compare two strings we are doing so from here we are getting that expected test you can see that this is like uh, whatever the expected uh, summary we are uh, expecting here so i kind of hard coded here and every time when we run the test we uh, try to fetch those value from there yeah so let's go to move back to slides again so we did this part uh, you know, uh, comparison uh, how we are doing comparison with this uh, Levinson distance algorithm and which type of validation process we are following and report summary also I have uh, shown. So thank you guys for your time and attention and Hafiz, we can have a Q&A session. Yeah. Right, thank you, Bipin. Uh, thanks for sharing your experience with us. There's one hand raised, um, just allowing to talk, Vijay. Yeah, so I just wanted to ask like, what type of number is supported by Twilio? Like uh, we were getting the call on the mobile uh, dial pad. So mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, like, uh, is there any specific country which will be supported uh, on Twilio or like uh, all the countries are, uh, supported no so uh, basically you 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 can think twilio numbers are like as like a simple airtel number but there you are giving a capability of uh, uh, you know using that number as an api and making and receiving call so given that construct if you load in right so whatever the number you buy in uh, you uh, you will have like if you make a call within a country like for our case our customer base is in us so we take us number as a charge and if you make any twilio call via api to us number you are going to charge locally for those number or sending text sending messages however if i do make a call to number like india or other country then charge will be different so according to your uses you can opt for any country's uh, uh, number so yeah yeah so they provide for a uh, they provide the number of uh, for any of the countries any of the countries yeah uh, like i think they cover almost 70 to 80 countries and they, they, that covered a huge list yeah okay okay so let's say if i have purchased the number from twilio uh, for India. So uh, let's say if I'm making a call to the Indian number, so the tariff will be according to the Indian number or that will be charged uh, as the US no, tariff? The, no, so they, they don't accept uh, Indian currency. They charge everything in USD. And so whenever Twilio actually have to like give you number, so basically Twilio is going to do a partnership either with Vodafone India or Airtel. And they have the uh, like uh, like uh, kind of uh, agreement like that. For example, like uh, I have to test uh, like like uh, for example, like dial pad in dial pad we test uh, calling for our uh, US SIM. So I uh, like I do contain US SIM, but that is a T-Mobile SIM in US. So basically, to work in that. Uh, T-Mobile sim so Dialpad has a partnership to T-Mobile and T-Mobile partnership with uh, Idea here so that is how they are doing and with that 
you like they have kind of a business packages uh, like so that you have uh, at least like whatever i have a uh, understanding of that uh, making call with api is far cheaper than actually using uh, the other tool like so if you heard about the text now so we used to that previous video and that used to be a little bit costlier than that yeah okay thanks vijay for your question i'm just meeting you now all right doesn't look like we don't have we have any other questions so maybe we'll, we can conclude the session now thank you thank you so much asip thank you for being patient yep. and i think this is the first time i see this my network has gone for five to six items a five that's to six fine. time reset that, that, yeah, that has, and... that, never mind okay sure. all right thank, everyone thank you, thank you.